Usually, people who are trying to read the Bible from cover to cover meet their Waterloo with the book of Leviticus, right after Genesis, Exodus, because Leviticus is not a narrative story. It is more a collection of laws, of rituals, of codes that come from another time, another place, another culture. And it could be very confusing. In the same time, it's very interesting the importance it has in the North American culture because as you're probably aware, the book of Leviticus is often used by those who oppose uh, same-sex uh, same marriage or even the concept of homosexuality, see it as a sin. And interestingly, disregard some parts, some, some verses in the same chapter that uh, uh, ask people not to eat or touch pin skin or to have a tattoo on their body. And this is very interesting uh, to remember only a few days after the Super Bowl. This set. Today we have the chapter 19 of Leviticus, a section, it, it, and it belongs to a section that many scholars have called the Holiness Code. Um, it's a series of rules and that invite people to be holy. And in it, you have almost this mantra that come over and over saying, I am the, I am the Lord your God. I ask you to be holy because I am the Lord your God who is holy too. And often we understand holiness as some sort of perfection, especially in this religious context. Holiness as someone who never sinned, someone who makes, never makes a mistake, never, uh, and, and never make a mistake, like I said. And it's very different context, very different understanding of holiness here uh, that is presented in this text. And this text offers us a profound statement about how we're called to live our lives. And it says that everything matters. Every part of our lives matters. I often say it. We cannot profess that we live our, by our faith and 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 say it on Sunday morning and then get out of our churches and on Monday morning uh, go in a, another direction. We cannot claim that on Sunday morning that every lives are important and then on Tuesday afternoon go invest our money in company that abuse people and do not respect basic human rights. Uh, holiness is a way of life. Holiness is trying to see how everything is waving together and how everything, like I said, everything we do, everything say matters. And it does not have to be spectacular. It does not have to be statement or, you know, denial or it could be simple actions, simple facts of our lives. Holiness is treating everyone equal, equally. No pharisaism. And to treat people with compassion. It is, holiness is not to repeat gossip. Not to slander people. It's taking care of those who have less. And we do that often. We do that often. It's just a reminder that everything needs to be aligned. The values that we profess, the goal that we reach, need to be lived on Sunday morning, on Wednesday afternoon, on Friday evening. And it could be fairly simple because that's what we matter for us. Holiness is not a holier-than-thou attitude. It's acknowledging that everything is interconnected. That we're connected with God all the time. We're connected with people around us all the time. And we also have to be connected with us, with what we say, how we act, the decision we make. 
Holiness is not about privation. It's not about, you know, it's an invitation to an integrated life. It's an invitation to a better life. I hope you will see it that way. That's all for today. I remain Stéphane Vermette, the lectionary man. And until next time, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.